Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we will be talking about my March releases. Let's get going. There's actually quite a few releases out in March. Everything is like happening on February. There was actually a lot of bugs that came out on February 13, which already passed. As well as in April, there are like a lot of bugs in April, so that's crazy. But anyways, let's jump right in. So my first book that comes out on March 5th, it is What Monster Was Gods by Rosamund Hart. Centuries ago, the heretic sorcerer Lovin raised a deadly briar around Runakian's palace, casting the royal family into an enchanted sleep and silencing the kingdom's gods. Born with the miraculous gift, Leah's destiny is to kill Lovin and wake the royals, but when she succeeds, she finds her duty is not yet complete for now, and she, not, she must marry into the royal family and forge a pact with the god Odin. To make matters even worse, Lumen's spirit is haunting her. As this accord grows between the old and new gods, the queen sends Leah and Prince Arun, her betrothed, pilgrim, to awaken the gods. But the old gods are more dangerous than Leah ever knew, and Lumen may offer her only hope of survival. My next book I'm really, really excited for, and that is A Touch of Chaos by Scarlet St. Clair, and it's supposed to come out on March 12. The world will burn. Persephone, goddess of spring, never gets a chance to encounter with Hades, god of the underworld, will change her life forever, but it did. A fight for humanity and battles between gods, it's a world Persephone would never thought she would see. To end the chaos, she must draw upon her darkness and embrace who she's become, goddess, wife, queen of the underworld. Once Persephone made bargains to save those she loves, now she will go to war for them. I am so excited for this book. My next book is Dead Goes Walking and it will come out on March 26. Temple Baker knows that evil runs in her blood. Her father is North Point Killer, an infamous serial killer known for how he mocked each of his victims with a brand. He was convicted for murdering 20 people and was the talk of countless true crime logs for years. Some say he was possessed by a demon. Some say that he never found all his victims. Some say that even though he is not behind bars, people are still dying in the woods. Despite everything though, Temple never believed that her dad killed her mom. But when he confesses to the crime while on death row, she has no choice but to return to his old hunting grounds to try to see if she can find the body and prove it. Turns out, the farm that was once her father's hunting grounds and her mom has returned into an overnight camp for queer, horror-obsessed girls. So Temple poses as a camp counselor to go digging into the woods. Why she's not used to hanging out with girls her own age and fears every rut and best about these true crime enthusiasts, she tries her best to fit in and keep her true identity hidden. My next book is Blood God by Ceci Robinson and it will come out on March 5th. 100 years, 10,000 of gladiators, and today only one will rise. Everything in the Kingdom of Arrow is a lie. Late length of grey thought come to this new land of volunteering to fight in the gladiator arena. Vicious, bloodthirsty tournament will only the strongest survive would earn him enough gold to save his dying sister. He thought there was nothing left to lose. He was wrong. They took everything, his hope, his freedom, his very humanity. All Leith left is, is his battle's so scarred body, fueled by rage and hunted from years of fighting for the right to live another day. Then Leith meets Maeve, an elven royal who, has, who is everything he despises, everything he should hate. Until the alluring of princess offers him the one thing he needs most, a chance to win the committed title of Blood God and his freedom. But in the kingdom built on secrets of lies, hope doesn't come cheap, Not will his, nor will his ultimate revenge. My next book is Incarus by K. Ankram. It will come out on March 26th. Incarus Galahad is a thief. He steals prices art and replaces it with his father's impeccable foragings. For years, one man, this, the wealthy Mr. Black, has been the target, revenge for his role in the death of Incarus' mother. To keep the secret, is Incarus adheres to his own strict rules to keep people and feelings at bay. Don't let anyone close, don't let anyone touch you, and above all, don't get caught. Until one night he does, not by Mr. Black, but by his mysterious son, Helenus. 
Now living at a house invested in a black mansion, instead of turning Inconus in, the Helios bargains for something even more dangerous, a friendship that breaks every single one of Inconus' rules. I am so excited for this, but I have been searching for an Inconus story, and I found it, so I'm excited for this. My next book is The Remnant Games by Marjorie Fuston. It will come out on March 9th. On March 19, blood is survival for 17 year old Blake, who lives in a poverty stricken human village is caught between enemy and vampire and witch kingdoms. Most of the time, vampires and witches live in uneasy truths, buying human blood for their food and spells. But for two weeks a year, the ceasefire dissolves and they hold the remnant games. Any human can play in the games for either the witches or the vampires. Alongside life changing riches, the witches will raise one person from the dead who, for whoever captures the highest ranking vampire and turn the vampire's off in mortality to whoever captures the most powerful witch. For most humans, the games are a ticket out of poverty. For Blief, it's a chance to get back her dead sister Elise and save the life of her dying best friend Emerson. Together, she and Emerson forge a dangerous plan to play both sides and win both excavation for Elise and immortality for Emerson. But when the vampire they capture stirs a passion and belief that she hasn't felt in a long time, she will have to make a sister or the boy who has shown her there's more to life than just survival. My next book is The Last Blood Carver and it will come out on March 19. Nika is a blood carver, a cold hearted. Ruthless being who can alter human biology with just a touch. And in the initial city of Thymurus, she is seen not as a healer but a monster that kills for pleasure. When Nikia is caught using her blood carving abilities during a shaman medical appointment, she is captured by an underground thugs and sold in Estocat to his to fam When Nikia is caught using her blood carving abilities during a shaman medical appointment, she is captured by underground thugs and sold to an Astroclan family to heal the witness of the founder's murderer. But as Nika delves deeper into the investigation and miss the glitz of the most wealthiest district, she begins to notice parallels between the job and her own dark past. And when she meets an unloving yet entirely vicious Ayn, Van Kachin, she is forced to question the true intent behind this murder. In a society that outcasts her, conscience seems to draw to her, though he takes every chance he gets the pressure out of his opulent role. That sounds so cool. My next book is Song of the Huntress by Lucy Holland, and it will come out on March 21st. Britain, 60 AD. Hoping to save her lover, lad, and her people from the nomads, Hela, me Hela makes a desperate pact with the king of the underworld, but years pass, unheeded in his realm, and she escapes to find everyone she loved long dead. Cursed to wield his blade, she becomes lord of the hunt, and for centuries she rides weeping wanderers' tolls, until the night she meets a woman on a bloody battlefield, a Saxon queen with ice blue eyes. Queen Ethelbald of Wessex is a proven fighter, but when she leads her forces to disaster in battle, her husband's court turn against her, yet King Ian needs a foe more than ever, the dead queen kings of Wessex, Awaking and his own blood that seeks to upset him. In solely hope is to master the magic that Ian dormant in his bloodline since ancient days. When the past cause, Hela knows it's no coincidence. Something dark and dangerous is at work in the West Court. The Unknown World seeks to rise to bring the people of Britain under its dominion, and she and Ethel grows closer. Hela must find her humanity and her way to break the curse before it's too late. My next book is Murder and Road by Simone St. James. It will come out on March 5th. July 1995. April and Annie have taken a wrong turn. They're looking for the small resort town where they plan to spend the honeymoon. When they spot what appears a lone hitchhiker along the desert road, they stop to help. But not long after the hitchhiker gets into the car, they see the blood seeping from her jacket and a truck barreling down at the kiss line after them. When the, when the hitchhiker dies at the local hospital, April and Annie find themselves in the crosshairs of the Corn Lake Falls police. Unexplained murders have been happening along at the kiss line for years, and the cops finally have two witnesses who easily become the only suspects. As April and Annie start to dig into the history of the town and, and that horrible stretch 
of world to clear the names, they soon learn that there is something supernatural at work, something that could not only tear the town and its dark secrets apart, but take April and Eddie down with them. And my last book is The Mystery Writer by Stolalia Gentile. It will come out on March 19. There's nothing easier to dismiss than the conspiracy theory until it turns out to be true. When Theodosia Benton abandons her career path as an attorney and shows up on her brother's doorstep with two suitcases and an unfinished novel, she expects to face a few challenges. Will her brother support her ambition or send her back to finish her degree? What will her parents say when they learn of her decision? Does she even have what it takes to be a successful writer? What Thea never expects is to be drawn into a hidden library world in which identity is something that can be lost and remade for the sake of an audience. When her mentor, a highly successful author, is brutally murdered, Thea wants the killer to be found and justice to be served. Then the police will begin looking at her brother Gus as the prime suspect, and Theo does the unthinkable in order to protect him. But the writer has left the trail, a thread out of the labyrinth in the form of a story. Gus finds that thread and follows it, and in his attempt to save his sister, he unwillingly threatens the foundations of the labyrinth itself. To protect the carefully constructed narrative, Theo Benton and anyone looking for her will have to die. Okay, that sounded ominous, but those are all the books that I'm excited for much. Let me know what you're excited for in the, up, in the upcoming March. It's crazy to think that March is almost here. I don't know what's happening with the time. I'm just flying so fast. But if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. So you'll be notified every time I post, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!